All night, all night, baby, got you all night. All night, all night, baby, got you all night. Oh, <clears throat> what's up, guys? It's Brown Time. I'm doing a review for the movie Can't Buy Me Love. Can't Buy Me Love, rated PT 13. Can't Buy Me Love is a romantic kind of <laughs> movie. Uh, it's a, I guess you can call it a coming of age movie, I guess. It, it has, it starts off with Ronald. And Ronald is like the nerd, the school nerd. <coughs> He's not popular at all. He hangs out with all the nerds. And, you know, nobody wants to talk to him. He lives next door to Cindy Mancini. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, that's her last name. He lives next door to Cindy. Cindy is a popular girl. She's a cheerleader. She's popular. Everybody likes her. She is gorgeous, isn't she? So, you know, all that. So, you know, Ronald comes over and washes, you know, their cars and their pool. Or is it just the cars? The car. He washes the car and other things, you know, he, he does and they pay him for it. Well, Sydney, Sydney's basically rich. Like, she get anything she want. And, um, you know, she has a boyfriend who, at at his high school, he was a star of the team. At college, he's a nothing. So, you know, she he don't call her. She kind of feel lonely and left out. And then, anyways, let me go to where the, where the plot thickens. Uh, Sydney wants to buy a dress. And she don't have the money to pay for it. So Ronald has the money to pay for. It. He has a thousand dollars. He's like, I'll give you a thousand dollars for this dress under one condition. And she say, you know, what's that? He said, well, you have to fake like we're going out. So basically, what that means is they have to fake like they're going out in front of people so that he can get popular. Basically, even though they're not going out, they have to fake like it. So you know, she wants to change up his looks and stuff so he can look cooler. And then, you know, people, they at first they were like, what? She's hanging with him? And then they start accepting him. Then, you know, they start accepting him. Then he gets more comfortable around them. And then she actually starts to grow affection for him. And then uh, after she starts to grow, grow affection for him, then he, you know, it's the end of the it's, it was a month. So at the end of the month, you know, he's like, how are we going to do this? How are we going to um, convince them that, you know, we broken up and I guess she didn't want to cause she said she liked him so then uh their little brother keeps following them around I guess trying to spy I don't know what he was trying to do he was trying to spy on them or whatever I guess that didn't work I don't know so then I guess they broke up after they break up publicly then you know other girls start liking him different things like that after other people start liking him, then, you know, he just started getting a big head. He just started getting all spotty. And then, you know, they go to this party. One of my favorite scenes of the movie, obviously. Uh, so, he's at home, and the girl's like, can you dance? He was like, I can do any dance I can. So, uh, you know, he's he's learning. What was he watching? American Band? stand or something like that he was watching the channel where they was dancing and he was learning the routine practicing and all he was practi practicing this routine but it, it was called the um the african anteater dance it was the african anteater dance go look that up and the movie gonna pop up the african anteater dance he was doing he was learning that but um you know they get to the party and she was like you ready to dance and he's <clears throat> drunk so you know he keeps drinking and stuff he got a little bottle like that bit so he he started dancing and well this happens So look, after that happens, 
uh, Sydney walks out because you know he's still in the show being a jerk, and so you know she he wants to sit down and talk and basically he wants Sydney, but not for you know he don't like her. So then um you know they have a house party. She's drunk. She overhears him and the girl, and then you know then she gets mad. So basically she's just mad at the rest of the movie. So she tells the truth. She was like, hey, I'm telling the truth. He paid me to go up with him. So then, you know, after that, people start looking at him wrong and differently. And, uh, you know, one scene, they sitting at the table. And a nerd comes up to Sydney to help her with the homework. But they're like, no, you're not, you're not pulling a, 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 Ra a Randall. Not Randall. Ronnie. His name was Ronnie, but they called him Ronald. His name was Ronald, but they called him Ronnie. He's like, you're not pulling a Ronnie Miller on her. You're not going to pay her. So then, um. Uh, you know, they kick him out the table. He was like, calm down. These are my friends. They won't do nothing to you. So at the end of the movie, um, you know, she goes off with her boyfriend. And then he dumped her because, you know, you dated, you paid a dude, the, you know, Ronald Miller. Uh, so he dumped her. And then they going off on the trip. And Ronald just looking in the distance at them going away. And then he pans, it pans to him. He's looking down. And then looks up and she's right there and then he was like how about we do this over again how about we start over and then you know the end of going out so yeah that's can't buy me love uh what would i grade it i like this movie be biased so i might do a b c plus or c uh c plus or a b but you know actually no nah, just b solid b to me uh what would you grade it you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or you know, A, B, C, D, F. Which one? Uh, my favorite part is obviously the African Ant Eater dance. That part when they did that, the party, I like that part. Either that part or um, or the part where they are looking at the stars, and you know, that's the that's the part. Where I guess she really likes him. When she really finds out she likes him, is when they are looking at the stars. Looking at the aircraft and whatnot. So yeah, that part. What movie review should I do next? Comment down below. Um, yeah, I got a lot coming. I got a lot more. So I gotta get, I gotta get to work. I gotta watch, I gotta watch the movies. So yeah, just comment down below what movies I should do. I need more suggestions too. Cause I'm almost done with the movies I uh, had suggested. Almost. And uh. Yeah. What's up, guys? I'm in the middle of editing this video, and I forgot to say that this video, this movie, had an adaptation. Uh, a movie starring Nick Cannon and Christina Milian titled uh, "Love Don't Cost a Thing." You know, this movie called "Can't Buy Me Love," and that's "Love Don't Cost a Thing." Same concept, basically the same thing happened in the movies, and yeah. Nerds, your side, my side. Man, it's all bullshit.